Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jason with RC Offroad Racing. All right. So I uh, I received my 4S Lipo from a Wanfi uh, to review, um, and I, I got it Friday. You know, I think they sent it out on Tuesday. It was quick shipping. It was like two days, two or three days. Didn't take long at all. Um, they sell these on Amazon, uh, and I think you can get, get them directly through a Wanfi themselves. Anyway, um, I used it at the race yesterday, which, you know, was probably um, one of the best days I've had at a race so far. I did the best. Uh, I had a really good time. So, uh, anyway, all right, so it says 5,000 Ma 60C. Um, you know, and I, I've got another battery. This one here. I just bought this one, um, you know, a couple weeks before. They sent this one out to review because I needed a 4S for an upcoming race. And, um, you know, when I first got it, it I, I, you know, this is a 5200 uh, milliamp hour, 45C, I think. Um, and it would charge, it's charging right now, but it would charge up to uh, about 5500, well, about 5400 uh, milliamp hours. So the capacity is a little bigger. Um, but yesterday, I uh, was running this in my third five minute heat. You know, and um, it dumped on me after like, you know, three and a half, four minutes. So I really don't know what happened there. Uh, you know, I checked the voltage with uh, the light or with the, the voltage tester I had and everything. You know, it shouldn't have even cut off yet. It was at like 3.6. So I don't understand. Um, the case is busted on this one. You know, um, it's definitely a thin, uh, thin case on this. So I don't know uh, what I'm going to do with this one. But um, so let's get back to the other. Alright, so uh, when I got out there, I first used this uh, to practice. I, I did run this uh, in a practice, but then I charged it up and saved it for the main, and it did fantastic. Matter of fact, I'm going to test, uh, let me see how, what the voltage is at after running a 10 minute uh, main. So hold up. Alright, so <clears throat> let's take a look. It said fit, it was 15.1. Let's see if I can. See. At three seven. Let's wait till it starts over again. All fifteen point one volts. It's hard to see. Uh, it's hard to to catch the uh, the digital. In this camera, but all all cells are at three cells are at three seven seven. One's at three seven six. That's a uh, really good. Usually, um, when I check my other lipos, it, it won't be that close. They'll, you know, they'll be within a, a few, a few uh, tenths or whatever. But yeah, that's so that's so the battery's not even dead. It would still probably run another few minutes. You know, it's at three point seven. My cut uh, cut off set at three point five. So yeah, so far, <clears throat> I'm really happy with this lipo. Matter of fact, it charged up to fifty six hundred milliamp hours. Um. After I ran it the first time, I recharged it and it charged to 5,600 milliamps. So the capacity is over what it stated on it, which is, you know, really good. That 60C, I, I, I do think, I realize this, I think this battery seemed to have more punch. Uh, it seemed a little faster down the straight than, you know, any of my other batteries, which the other, I have some Florian 4,500 milliamp, 45C, um, and that, the vent over there. And this is the best battery. So, um yeah when i i use these for racing i you know i'm gonna keep using it so um i'll keep updating you guys and i'll probably do a uh you know probably a i don't know a one month review or a few week review after i've used it a few more times but definitely a good product um the price is uh is really good too so you guys need to get online go over to a wanfi and uh check them out all right guys well thanks for stopping in and i'll uh, see you guys next time later